graduated with the first class, graduated as the best. What course was that? This is another shocking testimony in Pastor Paul Energy Church. But I'm wondering why has this not been trending? Let's look into the video. Let's see what happened. I want to thank God for my life. Um, I got admission into FUT Mina in 2017, 2018. And when I got to school, the first thing that you will hear people saying is that this is FUT. It is frustration under tension. You are just, you are going to be frustrated. Everything is just going to frustrate you. And I remember I told God then, I cannot be frustrated. My case will be different. So I started the journey, 100 level, 200 level. My aim was that, God, I want to graduate with the first class. Then we had the FET Mina Crusade, and the title was that, that Daddy preached that day was Fulfilling Destiny as Light. So from that day on, I began to, I just had a different notion. I was like, I am a light. Whatever wants to happen, I am a light. I'm going to shine. And did you write in this paper? I was like, see what I was saying? No, 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 that's not the answer. You failed it. I was like, I am a light. I don't care. I don't care what is going to happen. And that course, that particular course, I didn't just get an A in that course. I got an A in all my courses. I got an A in my project. I graduated with a first class. I graduated as the best graduate student in my department. I do not take it for granted. I've come to say thank you, Jesus. Graduated with the first class, graduated as the best. What course was that? Agricultural Economics and Extension Technologies. Agricultural Economics. Give the Lord a bigger clap and a louder shout of praise. What a mighty, 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 mighty God. Above only and never been it. God shall make you the head and not the tail. Above only and never been it. Give the Lord the praise. Now let's look into this testimony again. When it was BS in law, a lot of people, a lot of bloggers are promoting it. We are fond of promoting mediocrity. But when it comes to testimony that edifies us, testimony that promotes excellence, we don't promote such. But we depend on fo and focus on things that will bring negativity into the church, into the world generally. This is a good content out there. This is a great testimony. No one is promoting it out there. But when it was BS in a law and they probed someone for something negative, a lot of people are promoting it. Now, why are you not promoting it? At the end of this video, I want to know whether you will not share this video or whether you will share it. Why do we tend to promote things that doesn't help others, that doesn't help the community? These are excellent videos that we're supposed to be promoting. I believe we can do better. This is my own one cent. I've shared this with you and I hope you will share it with others. Let's see. Do have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to share the video and don't forget to share. Your comment is also appreciated. Thank you.